y'all Kristen here and we are back with another monthly favorites video now I didn't do one last month I did on a live stream because I wasn't in the mood to film but we're back in front of the camera for monthly favorites I have quite a few things here a lot of stuff is like planner related it's rare that I have a majority of planner things to show for my monthly favorites but we have that this month because that has been the thing that I have been tapped into for the past month or so um, but first before we get into that I want to talk about these pants I have on okay hold on these parachute pants from Walmart give me 2000s. You know, I have a pair, I have some, a cream color pair as well, right here. I will put a picture up of what they look like. Drawstring on the bottom, cargo pockets. Love, love, love them, okay? And I forgot to bring them in here. I don't feel like wanting to get them, but my husband um, got me some really cool Nike Air Jordan 1s in my favorite color schemes, favorite color, favorite color scheme, this really baby, really light baby yellow, and that seafoam green, love them. They're so comfortable, love, love, love those. I'll insert footage, you guys can see that. So that is it for like clothing, all right? So let's talk about some skincare. I bought some skincare this past month, nothing expensive, I'll go over to the Dollar Tree, because your girl's not too good for the Dollar Tree, okay? So um, these serums right here, this is from the Glow, beauty care and I'm not new to the glow beauty care but I saw these when I was going to Dollar Tree for something else and this is the vitamin C serum and then this is the collagen facial serum vitamin C is great for dark spots fading it's great with redness anything you want your skin to be to look more youthful vitamin C is great for that collagen is just great for bring um smoothing out the pores and all that stuff I have not tried these enough to know how well they're working but I do the reason why they're here is because I love how they feel on my skin. And for a dollar twenty-five each, you cannot really go wrong. You can really take twenty dollars, maybe less. I would say about ten, fifteen, and get a whole face routine from Dollar Tree. I'm not even joking. Um, you know, because everybody ain't got a but Sephora budget. Everybody ain't got an Ulta, or everybody ain't got a Target budget. You know. So this right here, this is um, is this Glow Beauty here too? I'm not sure, but this is in the glass bottle. Everything is in glass, right? Um, this is a hydrant um, night moisturizer with niacinamide, which is great for redness, great for just looking youthful, all that stuff. Really love this, this moisturizer right there. And then I have a serum that goes with it, the Glow Up Serum. It, smell, it has watermelon extract, and you smell the watermelon. I love the way it smells though. And like I'm saying, you, a glass bottle for $1.25. And this is like my fourth one of these. <laughs> these um, This eye roller, love this. This is by the um, Skin, Skin Nutrition Botanicals. And then this serum, I mean, this moisturizer right here, this is from Globally, it's the oil-free soothing moisturizer, the blemish control, love that. It reminds me of like the Laneige packaging, if you know Laneige. Um, it was, I think it's sold at Sephora now. We have some eye creams, the vitamin C eye cream, good brightening, vitamin C is great for brightening, collagen eye cream. And then I have one, Right here. This is the blemish dark spot. I have melasma. I have it on my forehead and on my upper lip. It happens when you have children, especially with women in color. Women in color. Women of color. And so yes, all dollar twenty-five. So that is some skincare stuff. Let's get into like the the goodies and all that, right? So first up, this should not be a surprise to anybody, but the day designer. <laughs> the day designer which I do plan on doing a review for at some point, the day designer that everyone in the planet community seems to have, just about. Um, I went and got it because of the hype, and I really love it. I'm using it. I will have like a whole Moterm setup video. It's coming um, the week after I get back. So there's no content next week. I'll be out of town. I'll be in Vegas for my birthday, living it up, turning the big old 41. And, um, not 42, 41. And... Um, the, the video setup will be up after that. But I really am loving this planner and I have it set up in my Moterm and everything. And it's just a great little planner to have on the go. It's simple. I really like it. I got it just because, but then I really, um, really have been enjoying it. Okay, hold on just a moment. I had to, had to respond to an email. All right, um, so there's that, the day designer. Next up is you guys have seen one video of my creative journal and I did show like a little um, short on YouTube and next week uh, with the week after I get back you will see another creative journal spread so I'm not going to show you what that spread looks like because you'll see the process I did it all in one sitting but I've been really loving 
my creative journal you know I flip through it and show you guys it's just a great outlet as someone who deals with anxiety and depression I mean, well for one yes I take antidepressants but um, I haven't had any low moments in a really really long time and I really chalk that up to um, planning my dog um, just you know in general and this really helps me if I feel a little anxious I will start getting in here and just doing some things and it really calms me down because I just zone out but I really have been loving my career and it's me like it's a sunflower with the bee sunflower my favorite flower all right so that right there um next up let's talk about sticker books now I did not think I would be back in sticker books this year I am loving sticker books um they're just affordable you get a lot of stickers and you know over the years if you've been watching me for a long time you realize how different my planning changes from you know year to year or quarter to quarter or whatever but I am really loving sticker books like for instance um happy planner I had this one at the beginning of this year that I gave it away and I regretted giving it away so I got this one back and then like I got some from Amazon let me tell you something Amazon if you want sticker books and you want them cheap and you don't, and you'll just, you know, like, you know, the Kell plans, love, lift, posh, wrong, wrong, you know, it could be like $30 for a sticker book. These sticker books right here are like less than $15, like $13. And this is a limited one, of course. Um, but I love Amazon for just such journaling stickers, planning stickers, and like, like the no name brands come up. I really been loving wrong, wrong. The rainbow girls, I've been loving this book. And there's one just she has the bullet journaling. I use that one all the time. And this has been my favorite kill plan. But but yes, I am into the sticker books, okay? Really into them. All right. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um I started reading this month. Not for the first time. <laughs> but I really my daughters love to read. I wanted to, you know, I have friends that love to read. Yes, I have friends. My friend Tiffany loves to read. My friend Brandy loves to read, and there's just people like in the planning community in general who love to read. And I was like, I want to be, a, I want to be a person who loves reading. So I've been reading the girl who takes an eye for an eye. This is, if you know the the girl with the dragon tattoo series, this is the fifth book in the series. I've seen all four of the movies: the girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl who played with fire, the girl who kicked the hornet's nest, the girl who played the girl um, in the spider's web, and then this one. I didn't know there were seven books, but this is the fifth book in the series, and I've been enjoying this. It's been a lot of fun, and it's like riding a bike. I used to read all the time as a kid. Don't know what happened, but love, love, love. I love my book era that I'm in right now, so loving that. Um, speaking of books, I have my book journal. You guys saw that I showed the setup of this, and this is for Rise of the Dragon, the book that I do own. I'm really taking my time with this, and just when I'm in the mood getting in here, uh, I got this book from Amazon. It's a dot grid um, because the, uh, Rise of the Dragon is like it's a lot of if you watch House of the Dragon, this takes place like you know a good maybe hundred years, um, maybe a little bit less than House of the Dragon. And so um, I really enjoy reading all the things that lead up to House of the Dragon. A lot of things I understand based off of what I've seen from Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. And this journal is dedicated to that. So, you know, I don't know. I may, I'll probably do a video once I get a little bit more in here with the writing, just show how it's going. But I am enjoying the book journal. Um, next up is this Hobonichi Techo Weeks, okay? So I got this. It was 40% off for Prime Day. And I got it because I just wanted to try it. It has a Tamoya Ripper paper in it. And uh, I thought I was going to use it for wellness, but it's just way too small. So what I have been using it for is... Um, for my dog yes my dog not so much a planner but a tracker and um you know our goals for that week in terms because i don't you know even though my dog is three there's still things that he i want him to learn and train him and everything so we're doing that every, um, every single week and we just started back walking on a daily basis so i write the time in here that we walk and i walk you know how he did and um did walking for the week and everything and i've just been loving like setting this up um, not a whole lot of stickers in here, anything like that. I was not going to decorate this week because this is the week I'm going to be gone, but I will be here Saturday and Sunday, so I will be tracking some stuff for that. Um, so, yes, loving the Hobonichi. There is a Paddington Bear collab that's coming, and I don't know. I don't know. I really want it, though, because I don't know if I'm going to need, like, a tracker for it. And, like, I'm going to raise this eye so back up. Okay, there we go. But I really have been enjoying this, and it's very, very compact, all right? Um, next up, next up, next up. Oh, can't forget this. 
I have been using this as a wallet for the majority of August and it's by Coach Authentic. And there's actually, I had like my cards in here. I just wanted something simple. I got out of my wallet that I was using. And this is, I love this. This is really nice. What I have in here, I have some, some coins and a couple dollars. <laughs> I hardly ever carry cash. But I have some change in here. But I've really been loving this this month. Like, there's been times where I just take this and hook my keys up to it. And I really do. I've really been loving this. Love, love, love that. Um, next up, I've been loving, I've been loving like journaling supplies. And um, like especially stuff for creative journal because I can always use that stuff for other things. And let me talk about this. I got this from Amazon. Maybe cheap. But you know what? If you love it. You love it, right? I got this. This is like 13 bucks, and I love this kit so much. Like I use a lot of this in my creative journal, and there's still a lot left over. But the one thing I have been loving the most is this little notebook. I've been using this for like daily planning, whenever I need it, not every single day. And it's grid paper. I love, love, love this. And I decorated it. I, don't, I didn't date everything. I just decorated it so when I use it. But I have been really, really loving this. Like this is the size of an A6. Um... But I really love this. this is for daily and look at the color. All right. All right. And then speaking of journaling supplies, this is the company that reached out to me. They saw my creative journal video and wanted me to I actually need to go review this. <laughs> but it came in here and it came with like a bunch of like stuff that was individually wrapped. I've really been loving this. Some of the stuff I use in my creative journal spread that you guys will see on the 10th. And I really have just been loving journal like just planning differently and being creative and being more freeing for lack of a better word i really love this post so yeah i came in there um next up i um and i pr for planning scribbles with letitia and you guys her stickers her stickers y'all her stickers um i'm gonna show them like there are i love her stickers she doesn't sell kits just like deco sheets um deco sheets like this beach stuff and everything and i bought a bunch of fall stickers from her and i just want to show you guys um where are they did i put them in here if i didn't oh well but anyway um i love her stickers they're really pretty they just melt into the paper i just really like them i know the fall stickers are in here somewhere in this album um they gotta be here they go <laughs> this is her most recent release and if you use the code kristen 15 you'll get 15 percent off but i have some fall stickers really nice i cannot wait to use these in a spread within the next couple of months love 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 these all right but i love her stickers her, her stickers are very affordable very affordable and i like that they're not kits you can just get them to go with the kits you already have you can just get them for journaling um, especially if you're a person where you know you use like an a6 and you just want a little a sticker for some deco that works for that too i'm trying to think is there anything else before i get out of here with these favorites is there anything else that's right what's up oh no almost forgot the most important thing that i've been loving and it is the Aura cell. I do plan on doing a full in-depth review of this. It'll be up mid-September, but I'm letting you guys know, like, this has been a favorite of mine. I am, um, I did not, I had a Hemlock, I was using a Hemlock It Up, which is still a gorgeous planner. I even have a 2025 um, pre-ordered, it'll be here in October. I pre-ordered this for 2025, because this is gonna be my catch-all. It's an A5 size, I love it. Love, love, love this planner you guys like i can't wait to do the review for this i'm waiting to fill a couple more weeks up <laughs> with deco and everything so you guys can see how i'm really using it but i have been really loving the aura style like the the season the era that i'm in in terms of planning i'm loving it it's probably my favorite era that i've had um having everything in one planner it's been a long time since i've only used one planner for anything and i'm really really enjoying it so yeah that is all my favorites oh my god that is all my favorites. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I do have an affiliate link for Planning Scribbles with, not affiliate, but PR link down below. Planning Scribbles with Letitia, Kristen15 for 15% off. And I will see you all next time.